Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how to delete the NVIDIA cache to fix any sort of game stutterings or performance issues you might be having with your games. So if you're playing a game and you're getting micro stutters and things like that, then try this method here to try and fix and alleviate the problem. If this fails, you can always do a DDU on the driver and uninstall it completely and reinstall. So first off, right click on the desktop, show more options and go to NVIDIA control panel. Once you're inside here, you're going to navigate to manage 3D settings right here. And once you're inside here, you're going to navigate on the right hand pane all the way down until you see the option for cache. So you can see here shadow cache size and you can see it's set to driver default. You want to put this to disabled temporarily until we clear out all of the cache. Once we put this to disabled, you can click apply and restart the PC. So let's go ahead and do that right here. I'm going to click apply here and now all we need to do here is close the control panel off we'll enable that feature back once we've finished then all you need to do here is click the start button click the power button and click restart the reason why we need to disable this is to stop the cache being created while we're trying to delete it so once you've restarted go to explorer click on home and up the top here we need to type out this command here which is percentage local app and then data and then percentage. Now you can do this in the run box. It will take you to the same location. Push enter here and it will take you to this location here. From here, what you want to do is you want to navigate down to the bottom where it says NVIDIA. And once we get down to the NVIDIA section, we'll be able to go inside there and remove some of the cached files inside here. So look for NVIDIA folder, which is right up here. You should have two of these, NVIDIA and NVIDIA Corporation, unless you're on an AMD system. If that's the case, then this video is no good to you. So let's go ahead and go into GL Cache here and open up that folder right here. You can see I've only got one in here because this is a fresh install and there's only one game. So highlight it and delete. If you've got multiple folders in here, then you want to delete all of the contents inside this location right here. Next, click on the app data up the very top, and this will take you back to the app data folder. From here, you want to go to local low. Inside local low, we're going to go into NVIDIA right here. Inside NVIDIA, you'll see this little folder here, and we're looking for the DX cache. Let's use DirectX cache, and you want to delete everything inside here. So what you can do is select one of them and push Control A, and it will select all of these. And then what you want to do is go to the dustbin icon up the top or recycle icon and click on this and it will delete all of the contents here. If any of these are still running and they're being used, then just skip those files. But that should be good enough to delete all of the contents inside there. Once we've done that, what we can do now is we can uh, close the Explorer window off. And what we need to do is go to the uh, cleanup tool, which is built into Windows. So what we're going to do is go to the start button here and open up the search. And what we want to search for is cleanup or just put clean. And you should see this cleanup tool right here. And again, you can use whatever method you want to use, but this is pretty simple because it's built into Windows. Click OK on your C drive. And this will open up another box called disk cleanup for C drive. And we can remove all the check marks here. We're not cleaning the whole PC. We're just concentrating on clearing the DirectX shadow cache. So put the check mark in there and click OK. And this will remove the DirectX shadow cache. So let's go ahead and do that right here and click delete files. Once those files have been deleted, all we need to do here then is right click on the desktop one more time. Go to show more options. NVIDIA control panel here. And once the NVIDIA control panel opens up, go to manage 3D settings here. And we're going to go back down to the uh, shadow cache size here. And you can see we did disable that. So we need to re-enable that feature. And again, you can put this on driver default if you want to. It all depends on how much uh, space you have available on your drive. So if you have a lot of space available, then obviously you can give this a little bit more like 10 gigabytes if you want to. But it all comes down to how much space you've got available. So I'm just going to leave this on driver default for myself. But again, you can always check your drives to see how much available space you've got by looking on the Explorer here. And you can see I've got quite a bit of space available. But again, like I said, I'm going to leave this on default for myself. Once that's done, 
we can now click apply. And once we've applied this, we can then restart the PC. Now, if you have a lot of games on your computer, you've just deleted and removed all of the shader cache for those games. So once you restart and you start playing your games, it needs to rebuild all of this uh, shadow cache for those games. And you might see a little bit of jerking here and there until it stabilizes and rebuilds all the shader cache files that is needed for that particular game. And it may take a few minutes before it stabilizes and it becomes silky smooth again. If you're still having issues after you've done this, then you might need to completely remove the graphics driver using DDU and other tools like that to reinstall uh, your graphics driver. And if you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.